what I'm looking for out of what we're going to do today is sort of, I want you guys to think, we're going to do this together at first and then we'll go into groups, I want you to think about problems that might come up both with our project, with you guys doing video work for our event, and in general for the course. So be loose in, in coming up with ideas for this, but we're going to brainstorm as a class some of the common problems that you think might come up with clients, be that myself with our project that we're doing together or with anyone else. Then we're going to break into groups and do something a little bit different, okay? So to start and just shout out ideas, we're brainstorming together here. What do you think, guessing, some of you have probably done some of this sort of stuff before, some of you this is brand new, that's okay. What are some of the common problems that you might think would come up with clients in this setting? What are some of the problems to expect? Uh, contacting them, maybe, like who's contacting them, contacting them. Okay, so setting up contact info, you know, stuff like that, okay. Uh, getting in touch with the right person, you know, identifying right people, okay. Cool, what else? Come up with a default response inside your group to each one of these potential problems, okay? And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to set up sort of a, a if this happens, then the first response would be to try doing this. A lot of times in these, these uh, when, when you're dealing with client, you don't have a lot of time to react. You, you don't want to jump to any conclusions, but you want to settle the problem, get it under control as quickly as possible. What we're going to do is try and figure out what the first step is going to be. So in your groups now, turn, write down some sort of response to each one of these potential problems, and then we'll come together as a class, figure out which group has the better solution, the better gut reaction, you know, here's what we're going to do first, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll bounce back and forth between your groups, make sure everyone's on the right track, but make sure you're writing these down. Go, anybody have any questions? Cool, go ahead. Which number are you guys on? One and two? Yes. You got one and two? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be quickly. Okay. So setting up the contact info, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? I guess I'll just get the info right off the bat. It's actually mm -hmm. the past. Okay. So you're identifying one person? For each organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I have two different people that you're trying to work with in the same organization. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same goes from within your you know, side of this. If you've got two people who are both, I mean, you're going to have a lot of people probably working on each project. If all three or four of you are trying to interact with the client, it's probably not going to work very well, right? So you need to pick one person to, to uh, correspond with one person. Good. Okay. And what about number two? Give them the agency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. So, kind of a hierarchy within um, your team for a particular project. Okay. Good. Okay, onward. On to three. Good work. How's it going? Good. Okay, so you've got one of you, you guys are on three. Okay, unrealistic expectations. That's kind of a big one. Okay, so what is your plan to deal with unrealistic expectations? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, so no, what their unrealistic expectations are, and then kind of yeah. a realistic expectation of what we could really do for them. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. What if the client doesn't buy it? That's a toughie. Yeah. And a lot of that's just going to take practice. You're going to have to get experience. Yeah. That's what the problems. Um, but yeah, be be prepared. It's it's not going to be necessarily a one part sort of solution. Okay. So keep that in mind as you're as you're working on number three here. Number one, setting up contact information. What if you're having difficulty, you know, identifying who you're supposed to be talking to? How do you set up that? Figure figure that problem out. What was your solution? Uh, establish who the lead is, and um, establish like a backup person from each the client and uh, agency. So we have okay. leads and backups. Okay, so we've got the one person from each side to talk to the other person, from, and then we've got backups for each one of those two people. Okay, good. We need to have open communication. We need to have constant communication, or at least scheduled and regular communication. Good. Yeah, that seems to come up quite a bit. What else? Clarity. Clearly identified goals. Okay. Clarity. Good. I see at least one more in there that 
getting things done sooner rather than later. Okay, so schedule. Kind of, yeah. And what what about when dealing with in the organization and between the organization, the agency, and the client? The hierarchy. Hierarchy, absolutely. Clearly articulated rules. Good. Okay. Cool. I have a professor at school who is in geology who worked in the same area as me. He went up to Red Lodge, Montana and stayed there, which is only a couple of miles north of us. So, I mean, it, it's just something that people know about when they hear it. And you get a lot of experience on tools and methods that that's I can do. <laughs> no, you're doing, that's pretty much what we need you to do, is just, just chill. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's what I was doing with it. As they're going around with cameras, um, think about some of, since you're kind of yeah. doing most of the copy, yep. some of the uh, sorts of things that you can get people to talk about. Yep. <laughs> so it can focus on him. And if I tap, forget about that one. It's not going to do it for me because no, not a focus. If I tap back there. Wow. Yeah, it'll snap too. So the really cool thing is, if we want to do one of those, you know, if you're watching the news and uh, there's like nothing going on, so they do this thing where like maybe they have a row of books and they're kind of parallel to them. They'll start with it focused on one, and then it'll focus on the ones in the back in the shot. It's really easy because you just have to tap here and it'll focus on him and then I can focus there and it'll just slide for me. So what he's saying is that we have the ground and we have little little stick people us. Apparently with a very poorly maimed leg there. Okay. So this is us. We're down here on the ground. We're, we're trying to access this, this higher level of thinking. We're trying to reach this theory. The problem with us down here, I mean, we can see everything down here. The problem is, the theory isn't down here at the plane of observation. The theory is up above the clouds. It's stuck where we cannot see it. We cannot directly access this theory or this information. That's a bummer. That's <laughs> that, if, if we could actually get at the theory easily and without this complex thought, uh, this systematic process of theorizing, we, if the cloud wasn't there, it would be easy. What does the theory look like? Well, in Hempel's vision, there are, there's this web, or this net, up here above the cloud. Okay? And these little dots that I'm drawing, those are knots in this net. And when I'm talking about a net, I'm talking like a cargo net or something like that. Think of a big net of whatever kind. These knots, then, are these terms. Okay? Now we can't see these terms, these terms that are part of the theory. We can't access them directly, unfortunately, because of the cloud, but they're up there. And connecting these terms are the strands that he was talking about. These strands are things like definitions. They're things like emergent hypotheses, like guesses that we can make, hopefully, if we can, if we can access any of that information up there. Again, we can't see any of this. We're just grasping. The only way that we can get at the information up there is where it's tethered down to the ground. And so this net, this weird floating net, the, 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 apparently there are balloons maybe up here holding it up, who knows, okay? The only way that we can get at this net is through these ropes, these anchors, that's what Hempel called them, these anchors, down here that moor that net to the ground, and they provide access to the net through our means of observation. When it comes to these theories, most of that information is not directly observable, right? Gravity is cool in that we can directly observe this part of it. Boom, I just saw part of it. 